Hello everybody, welcome. Today, we're gonna to add Google Captcha V3 support to our ASP.NET website. Here, I have a sample web page with a username and password field. Let's take a quick look at the front-end markup. Here, I have two fields. One's a text field, the other one's a password field. One binds to the login view model dot email field, and the other one binds to the password field. Let's take a look at the backend for this page. Here, I bind it to the view model, and we have two methods here. One's a get method, and one's a post method. So the first step is to sign up for a Google Captcha account. Google reCAPTCHA. Let's go and sign up for a quick account in console. Let's create a new site, call it ASP.NET Core website, and we're going to sign up for the version 3. And the domain, since we're in development, it's going to be localhost. We're going to accept the terms, and then finally, we are going to submit. Awesome. Now we have the keys. Let's copy these keys into our website. For that, let's go to App Settings, and let's add a brand new section here called Google Recapture, call it site key, and then we're gonna have a secret key. Right, let's copy the site key and paste it here. And let's copy the secret key and paste it here. Awesome, now we have the keys to the website. Let's implement the client side. So let's see the client side integration. Okay, so for the client side, we have two options. We can either do it automatic or we can do it programmatically. Since you're programmers and we like difficult stuff, we're going to go for the programmatical way. The first step is to copy the library. Let's copy this. Let's go to our front end. Let's go to the very bottom. And we're going to paste it here. Awesome. So here we need access to our site key from here. So how are we going to do that? We can easily copy and paste it, but it's generally bad practice. So we're going to add a class to store our configuration. So we're going to call it Google Captcha config prop string site key prop string secret key so let's so now we map the site key the site key here and we can map one of the secret key to the secret key now for this to work we need to add a setting in our program.cs so let's go here and say builder dot services dot configure our class name is google captcha config and we're going to pass builder dot configuration dot get section google recaptcha awesome this line will basically get the um this section, the Google Captcha section of our configuration, cast it into this object and inject it as an option. So let's see how to use this in our front end. So here we're going to say at using Microsoft.extensions.configuration inject. I configuration uh, I options of Google Captcha config Google Captcha config Okay oh just reloaded let's go back awesome now we have access to our configuration right here. Let's remove this unwanted using. Let's copy this. And here, all you have to do is say at 
Google Capture Config dot value dot psyche. Awesome. Now the second step here is to copy this section. Let's copy this. A script section right here. And let's add our site key as again at Google Capture Config dot value dot site key. Awesome. Once we do that, we're going to get our token. Let's uh, console log our token just to see if the whole thing works. And we're going to do this on document load uh, function. Wonderful. So let's come to our login page. Let's click on inspect. Let's reload the page. And we have our token right here. Wonderful. Now let's store this token into a hidden field so that we can pass it to the backend. So for that, let's add an input field of type is equal to hidden. Then we let's close the tag and then we say ASP for login view model dot we're gonna call the field token. Let's add this token field to our login view model. Let's go to the definition. We're gonna say prop string token and we're gonna say it's required. Awesome. Now the next step is Let's give this actually a name before we go. Login view model. So here, when we get the token, we're gonna get document dot get element by ID. Get the element, and we're gonna set the value to the token. This way, when we get the value, it automatically adds it to this token to this input element, and then we can pass to the back. Okay, now let's see if this works. It says argument out of range. Oh, we forgot to rebuild. Let's refresh. Wonderful, we get the token. Let's check the input element. And here we have our input element, the hidden field token, and we have the token right here. Wonderful. Now, once we have the token, the next step is to verify this token with Google. So let's see how to do that. So let's click on client side integration. So here it says we have to pass this token to this URL. Uh, it has three parameters, secret, response, and the IP. And once we pass that, we get this response, it's either success, it's a true or false, and the challenge timestamp, the host name, and error codes, if there are any. Awesome, let's implement this. Before we actually implement it, let's see if we get the token back in our login view model. Okay, now let's run our project here. Let's go to login. We have our breakpoint. Let's put test.ca, one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's check our login view model. And we have our token right here. 